The Typhoon-class submarine, codenamed Akula by NATO due to early intelligence confusion, stands as a behemoth in naval history. Developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1970s, these underwater giants were a product of the intense nuclear arms race of the Cold War. Let's delve deeper into the technical marvels, operational realities, and lasting legacy of these engineering wonders. Design innovations and unprecedented scale. The Typhoon class broke new ground in submarine design. Their defining feature was their immense size. Stretching over 573 feet, 175 meters, longer than two American football fields placed end-to-end, -end, they dwarfed even the USA's Ohio-class submarines. This colossal scale allowed for several innovations. Double-hold protection, a unique double-hole configuration provided enhanced buoyancy and superior crush depth tolerance, allowing them to operate in the unforgiving depths of the ocean. Titanium advantage, the extensive use of titanium in the construction offered a significant advantage. Significantly lighter than steel yet boasting superior strength, titanium allowed for a deeper diving depth compared to traditional submarine hulls made from steel. Propulsion, armament, and crew considerations. While colossal, the typhoons weren't lumbering behemoths. Dual pressurized water reactors driving geared turbines provided them with a respectable underwater speed of 27 knots. More importantly, these reactors were relatively quiet for their size, a crucial factor for maintaining stealth during patrols. The true might of the typhoon, however, resided in its armament. These submarines were armed with 20 SS and 20 Sturgeon ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads. This firepower made them the cornerstone of the Soviet Union's nuclear deterrence strategy, a constant threat lurking beneath the waves. Operating such a leviathan required a sizable crew. The typhoon boasted a complement of up to 160 sailors, significantly more than most submarines. The complex systems and extended missions necessitated this larger crew size. However, the immense size also offered a unique benefit, the space for amenities unheard of in other submarines. The typhoon famously housed a swimming pool, a sauna, and even a small botanical garden, all intended to boost crew morale during long deployments. Strengths and shortcomings, a balancing act. The typhoon class embodied both remarkable strengths and notable shortcomings. Their unmatched firepower and deep diving capability made them formidable Cold War adversaries. The advanced technology incorporated into their design, from silent propulsion to sophisticated navigation systems, placed them at the forefront of submarine technology. However, the enormous size that granted them these advantages also presented challenges. The typhoons were incredibly expensive to build and maintain. Their immense bulk hampered their maneuverability, making them less suited for navigating tight spaces or reacting quickly to threats. The intricate technology aboard also came with a logistical burden. The large, highly trained crew required for operation presented a significant challenge. The end of an era and the typhoon's legacy. The fall of the Soviet Union and the subsequent shift in geopolitical realities marked the end of an era for these underwater giants. The strategic landscape no longer demanded such massive submarines, and their capabilities became less relevant. Most typhoons were decommissioned, their immense size making them too costly to maintain in a peacetime environment. Today, only one typhoon submarine, the Dmitry Donskoy, remains in service. Preserved as a museum ship, it offers a tangible link to this remarkable chapter in naval history. The Typhoon class serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between military might, strategic needs, and economic feasibility. Their legacy extends beyond their role in the Cold War. The technology pioneered in these submarines may find application in future underwater exploration vehicles or influence the design of the next generation of military vessels. However, 
Their immense destructive power also serves as a stark reminder of the ever-present dangers of nuclear proliferation. The Typhoon class stands as a testament to human engineering ingenuity. They pushed the boundaries of submarine design and served as a potent symbol of Cold War power. By understanding their strengths, weaknesses, and the historical context of their development, we gain valuable insights into the evolution of naval technology and the complexities of nuclear deterrence strategies.